Hey guys, welcome to Analytics Vidya. In this video, we're going to do a hands-on comparison between the newly released uh, Cloud 3 Opus from Anthropic, which is reportedly the best language model and definitely the costliest. And we are going to compare it with GPT-4, which is the reigning champion as of now. Just so you know, guys, uh, this week, Anthropic announced uh, their new family of uh, large language models called Cloud 3. There are three models in total, Heiko, which is the smallest, uh, then Sonnet, which is uh, a balance between performance and speed. And thirdly, uh, their largest model, which is called Opus, which is their most intelligent model as yet. Cloud3 Opus is definitely the new state of the art among all the language models that are out there, leaving behind the likes of OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini Ultra. As per Anthropic, Opus specifically exhibits near human uh, level of comprehension and fluency on complex tasks leading the frontier of general intelligence. So in a way, they are claiming to have achieved AGI in this particular release, and that sounds big. Another point highlighted in this release is fewer model refusals. This is something I have experienced a lot with uh, Gemini Pro, wherein the model refuses to generate text against a given prompt, quoting some reason or the other, sometimes valid and mostly invalid. As reported on this uh, refusal front, all three of uh, the Cloud3 family uh, models are doing great. On the context window front, uh, these models are offering a context window of uh, 200,000 as of now. Now, before I come to the hands-on part where we are going to compare Anthropic's Cloud3 Opus, uh, which is the most capable, most intelligent model of theirs, against GPT-4 Turbo, which is GPT-4 1106 preview, coming from the house of OpenAI, what I would want to sort of touch upon briefly is the cost part. So within this particular sheet, I have uh, these list of models uh, along with their uh, context window and uh, input and output pricing per million tokens uh, documented. By the way, this is not a comprehensive list. I just have a select set of uh, models that I have put over here. Uh, so among these, uh, GPT-4-1106 uh, is the turbo model coming from the house of OpenAI. Right now, it's the most widely uh, used model by uh, developers across the industry. Anthropics Opus uh, would be a direct competition to this one. And in fact, in this particular video, we are comparing the two in terms of uh, their performance on uh, text generation. So between the two, uh, on the context window front, yes, Opus is uh, winning there, but in terms of the pricing, uh, Opus is 50% uh, costlier on the input token side and 150% uh, costlier on the output, uh, which is the text generation side. And another point to keep in mind is that uh, Cloud 3 Sonnet is uh, priced very handsomely in comparison to GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, as these numbers are exhibiting that uh, even the Sonnet model is very close to GPT-4 in comparison across all of these uh, benchmarks. So Cloud3 Opus, definitely it will have to prove its worth by showing results to gain that premium over GPT-4, all right? So that is what I had on the costing front. Now we'll move on to the text generation side. Let's do it. All right, now I have these two models against each other, Anthropic's Cloud3 Opus and OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo 1106 Preview. Let's start with this particular prompt. Give me a seven-day healthy diet plan for Indian vegetarian. Let's see what we get. All right, we have the results. So I think both models have done a good job. I like the uh, dishes recommended by Opus. Uh, these are more relatable because uh, these are the ones that I eat on a regular basis, but or what is generated by GPT-4 is something which is more granular, right? Rather than suggesting the three meals, it is suggesting me five meals, including the mid-morning snack and the evening snack. And again, all of these items are uh, according to the prompt. These are healthy items and these are vegetarian items. So it's a tie on this front. Now let's move on to a basic math question. Uh, it's like if a number is increased by 20% and then decreased by 20%, what is the overall percentage change? Uh, let's see what we get. Opus has taken an absolute number, 100, and then it is sort of doing the calculation. Uh, GPT-4 has uh, done it more uh, abstractly. It has taken X, and then uh, it's sort of doing the calculation. Yeah, so both are right. Uh, again, I'm seeing this, that uh, Opus uh, finished early in comparison to GPT-4, so definitely a slightly faster in terms of uh, producing results. Again, it's a tie for both. 
Now this particular prompt will tell us uh, who among the two is a better salesman. The prompt is, sell me a pen, you have 200 words. Let's see what we get. So again, I would say it's a tie for both the models. Uh, I like the thing about Opus that it actually gave uh, the product a name, Elegance Pro, right? And then it is uh, selling me on luxury of uh, this particular product. And uh, GPT-4, it sort of uh, uh, pitches me for uh, minimizing digital noise, right? Uh, going to a, a, f a physical way of uh, making notes. And that's what it is selling me for. So it's again a tie. Let's move on to the next one. So on the text generation side, both models are very capable. Uh, I just found Opus to be better in terms of uh, the speed of uh, generation of text. So now let's move on to an intermediate level question, wherein we'll say, write the snake game in Python. Let's see how the two models perform. And the code which will be generated by the models, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, try executing it and see if the game is actually running or not. All right, again, on this one, Opus finished before uh, GPT-4. Uh, let's try running uh, the GPT-4 uh, snake game first. I'll just copy the code, and I'll go to VS Code, and I'll run it. All right, so this game is running. Let's play. All right, enough of this. Let's move on to the next one. Now let's copy the code generated by Opus, and let's see if this game runs. So in case of Opus, while the game is loading, but it's not uh, running, it's getting frozen due to some reason. So in this one, I'll give it to GPT-4. Now let's move on to our logical reasoning question. The question is this. There are 10 stacks of uh, 10 coins each. Each coin weighs 10 grams. However, one stack of coin is defective and each coin in that uh, stack weighs only 9 grams. What is the minimum number of weights you need to take to find which stack is defective and how, right? So that's the problem we have. Let's see which gives us the solution. So for this particular problem, uh, Opus has given us a rookie answer. Opus says that uh, divide the uh, uh, 10 stacks into two parts, then weigh them. Whichever is lighter uh, that is supposed to have the defective stack again, divide them. So it's basically a rookie answer. And uh, GPT-4 has given us the right answer by uh, saying that uh, we can pick uh, one, two, three, four, and so on coins from these 10 stacks, uh, stack number one, two, three, four, that is. Whatever the final number is, ideally that number should be 550 if there is no defective. And because uh, one stack is defective, the total weight will be less than 550 grams. The difference between 550 grams and the actual weight will tell you which stack is defective. So I'm impressed by this particular answer. And yes, GPT-4 wins again. Now let's move on to uh, the last set of questions. First one is uh, the tricky question. That generally I don't uh, get an answer to, although it is a simple calculation, but uh, language models fail at this. Let's see what we get. The actual answer to this one is, uh, 2819. The sum is 2819. Let's see what we get from the two models. Well, on this particular task, Opus has just won my heart. As expected, GPT-4 uh, gave a wrong answer, uh, but I really, really like the approach that Opus has taken. It has started adding uh, two numbers at a time, uh, maybe because the max token limit sort of uh, got hit and we didn't get the entire answer, but it was definitely following the right approach. So I'll give it to Opus on this one. All right, let's try this one out. Give me a count of words in your response to this prompt. So whatever the response they will give to this prompt, they have to give us the count of uh, words. Okay, Opus says one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's not six. There are nine words in my response to your prompt. How many words do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, this one fails as well. So this was expected. Now we move on to the last one. The prompt is give me five sentences that end in the word life. So they have to give us five uh, sentences that end in the word life. All right, Opus has done it. And GPT-4 has, oh, it faltered at uh, the sentence number four. So yes, Opus wins this one. All right, guys, so that's the end of uh, this particular video. Uh, between the two, uh, Cloud3, Opus, and GPT-4, which one uh, did you like more and why? Let me know in the comment section. And apart from this, any other particular prompt that you tried with both the models and you saw something interesting do let us know that as well in the comment section of this video. If you like our work, do give a thumbs up to this particular video and subscribe to our channel. We'll come back with more interesting data tech content for you. Till then, bye.